Hey guys, today I'm testing out video production hacks I found on TikTok. Do they actually work? I tested them out so you don't have to. Let's just dive right into it. This first hack is from Krause Media. You pull up a pretty background on an iPad and lean that iPad against the wall. Then you're gonna set down a reflective surface and put your product on that surface and you get this great infinity looking environment around your product. Let me give it a try. I pulled up a really similar background to the one I saw in the TikTok video. And then I cleaned off my mirror really good and set us up with this moisturizer. So the mistake I made, which Krause Media didn't really highlight in the TikTok video, is that you wanna grab a mirror that does not have a frame around it. This is super important because the iPad does have a border around the image, you can't get rid of it. And so the iPad actually needs to lay behind the mirror to get that infinity 360 degree look. So that was the mistake I made. So what we tried to do instead was use this piece of Lucite and here we have it set up properly. I will say with this white piece of Lucite, the best result came from when I used a very light colored background. I do think it looks amazing. So my advice to you would be to find a frameless mirror, but yes, this hack absolutely works. It's amazing. I will definitely be using it. Why didn't I think of this? All right, before we get to our next hack, if you're having fun watching this video, let me know. Give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. This next hack is from Joe Amato Marketing. He says to search for stock footage on YouTube and then change your filter to Creative Commons. And when you find a stock shot you like, you're actually able to use it in your own commercial projects without having to pay for it. He says that often, even in the description box, they will have a direct link to a Google Drive where you can access the raw footage. I'm gonna try it myself on YouTube. The Creative Commons license means that the creator of this video content says that anyone can use it. They may ask in the description of the video that you give them credit for using the video. And I searched a few terms here and truth be told, I didn't find any links to a Google Drive to download the raw files. Some of them just said, yeah, you can use the raw video, but there's no way to download it. You have to find third party software that allows you to rip content from YouTube. And sometimes those third party softwares come with a lot of viruses. So I would definitely be wary of doing that. Some of them also linked to a site called pexels.com, which is kind of a marketplace for free photographs or video clips. And then this one here brought me to a very weird site when I wanted to download this clip of these puppies. I would definitely be very wary of some of the links you might find in these descriptions. So what do I think about this hack? I don't think it's that great. You might as well just go to pexels.com directly and search in there. That way you know that you can easily download any clips that you find or subscribe to a video stock library service. There's so many of them, they're not that expensive and I'm a big believer in paying people for their creative work. So that would be my advice on this one. And this last hack comes from Tim Yap Films. In this hack, he places a face wash over a paper background and then cuts up some fruit and holds the fruit around the product at different angles while he takes photos of the product and then brings all of those elements into After Effects and creates this dynamic animation. So for extra credit on mine, I actually put this energy drink on a rotating platform. I cut up some strawberries and just like in the TikTok video, I placed some strawberries on a knife and positioned them all around the product while I kept recording. To be honest with you, I was a little bit confused about why he kept the product in the shot while he was shooting his fruit. It sort of seemed to be in the way. So for good measure, I took some shots of my strawberries without the product as well. Once we shot all that, I took my footage into Final Cut and exported still images. Then I brought those still images into Photoshop and cut out those strawberries. And then I brought all of that into Apple Motion because I'm an Apple Motion user and composited all of my images together. And this was the final result. If you guys are interested in a tutorial about how to do this in Apple Motion, it is coming up on my other channel, Jen Jagger Pro Tutorials. I will drop a card right here so you can link to it real quick if you're interested in subscribing to see that future video. 
So guys, what do I think of this hack? In my mind, this isn't really a hack, right? A hack is something that makes your life easier or is a bit of a shortcut. This is actually more of just a method of compositing something. And it's, you know, a lot of work to do it, but I do say the result is pretty cool and I really appreciate the technique and I had fun doing it. And I'll probably be using this effect again in the future. You guys, are there any other video production hacks that you see on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok you want me to try? I'm happy to do it. Link to them down in the comments. I picked out some other videos I think you might really enjoy. Thanks for creating with me today. I'll see you again.